What's up? Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to remove this brown sticker on the car. So I'm going to use my Ryobli drill with a M3 adhesive remover um, wheel to remove it. So this is almost like an emblem. You, uh, basically all we're just doing with is an um, the adhesion side pretty much because the sticker is so thin. So basically just going to use the wheel, cut that off. Right here I have um, McGuire's cream cut, or one cut, and I'm going to use that on this drill attachment. This is like DIY, this is like what you can do at home for cheap. Obviously I can go back into my garage and grab a polisher and M103 compound and do a little bit better, but I just want to show you a quick and easy way that you can do it at home. The car has been cleaned, you could just grab something to clean it off with, like this, some so um, car soap and some water. So I'm going to set it down to, you want to start out lower, so let's start out at around 8. This is a weird angle, so I'm going to take this off. Actually, here, I'll get it from this side. So I'm just going to basically line it up and then just spin it back and forth. You want to apply light pressure, because just let the wheel do it. It's, it's work. Um, yeah, usually you want to tape up the emblem, but again, this is rubber, so it's not going to really harm anything too much. And ideally, I'm going to take that off later, so if you want to protect that, tape it off. If you're going to take it off like I am, don't worry. Now this process, you can actually go through your paint. Um, that's why I have it set on such a lower setting because I'd rather go on a lower setting and know I'm gonna be safe. So you can see we still have some of that adhesive. But see right there how I have now the sticker on this towel. This towel is now trash. And be very careful when you're wiping that that residue and all that stuff coming off isn't going, see that now it's all over this, that I'm not gonna bring this towel towards any other panel of the car because you'll scratch the hell out of the car. Again, be very careful because this will scratch the paint just from touching it because you got, again, you have the sticker residue right there. So again, I'm gonna spray it up on this. And just rub it back a little bit because now it's just gonna, it's all gone. Now you just have the leftover tiny bit of stuff. Um, which I'm guaranteeing you, the more you apply pressure, the more you're gonna scratch the paint. That's why I have that compound. But you don't wanna apply so much pressure that you knock this stuff through the clear coat, otherwise you're in for deep trouble. Um, yeah, because once you go through that clear coat, it's off to the body shop and you're repainting a panel. So again, just use common sense. Um, when doing this, you don't wanna, you're just trying to get that stupid sticker off that the dealers just love to put on for some reason. You know, cause you all that headache and stuff. Basically, a $2 sticker requires you to buy like a $35 um, wheel to remove it. Yeah, there's easier ways to remove it, but for me, this is the safest, easy way, uh, easiest way I know how um, that I'm willing to do. I know you can, there's other ways you can heat it up, but the problem is this is, this is it's been on for so long, it's been on for five years now, so it's not like we're getting off day one. Probably should have done that day one, but again, I wasn't, didn't know what, exactly what I was doing, so... Yeah, so again, I'm going to have to go back with the wheel in these few little spots and hit that up again. Yeah, it's a tedious little process. It's a lot of back and forth, back and forth. 
and working your way through it. And again, like I said earlier, don't worry about me going up towards that exterior emblem. I'm not worried about it at all. If you are, tape it off. I didn't have tape, and I'm going to take it off anyway, so. If this was like a customer's car or something, then absolutely, 100%, no matter what, I would tape it off. But this is just an old truck at this point. But I want to make the truck look good, so get rid of that stupid, nasty emblem. And actually, what you can see now is you can still see that outline that um, was there from the sticker being there so long. It's left an imprint in the clear coat. So that's what that little compound that I'm going to use in a minute. Yeah, don't really use your fingernail on the paint. It's obvious. Um, just use common sense. It, you, it takes a lot of. Again, it's just a. It's a car, so don't overthink it too much. But use common sense and don't. Just ignore all logic and. I've seen way too many people decide. Oh, I'll use a paper towel and some soap and see what happens. And you know, yeah, that's duh. You're using sandpaper up against the paint. So. I say use common sense, but I know that's uh, not logical for some people, so. Again, I was just spreading out that compound. Again, if you really want to do this professionally, want to get the best result, you're going to use a polisher, something of this size, it'd probably be a three inch, um, a Roops three inch. So you need something with some power. Um, so, something to get this off. So I'm going to put the handle back on. Again, this is just a Ryobli. A basic um, Amazon three-inch cutting pad, some generic uh, drill attachment that has a loop for Velcro. So I mean, simple stuff, and then a three um, a three M adhesive remover. So I mean, just simple stuff here. This isn't you can get this done for less than fifty bucks. I mean, you need a drill though. I know that sounds like a lot, but you're going to be paying a guy like me more than fifty bucks to remove it. Because we're taking the risk of damaging your paint. So. I made a very simple mistake there. I had not had a fresh towel ready to wipe this up with because again, that one you have the sticker now on is basically trash and you're not gonna wanna use that again. Or I would not, I wouldn't recommend that. You're just taking way too much risk. But there's your final product, it's removed. This, um, because that sticker was a very light one and not like this, we didn't have to go any deeper than a simple one cut cream polish and again, this isn't a show truck. It's got 280,000 miles, so I'm being realistic with it here. Uh, it's my dad's, and I highly doubt he's ever gonna be as close as I am to the truck where you're like an inch away. Like, So he's never gonna be like that. Um, because if you are, then you wanna start with the compound and then go to polish and see how that, um, and then obviously find the right duo instead of just using a one cut, like uh, a one cut that I'm using. But for him, this is easy enough, you won't notice it. And to me, this really doesn't need to go too much deeper into the clear coat. So, it was good. I'm gonna step back and look at that. Wow, that's awesome. It's been there for so long, so now that it's gone, I'm very pleased. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my video, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.